In this guide, we'll walk you through the steps to add and adjust stairs and ramps in your ARCHICAD project. ARCHICAD allows for real-time 3D visualization of stairs, helping architects and clients to better understand the design and make necessary adjustments before construction. The stair tool in ARCHICAD allows for extensive customization, including dimensions, materials, railing types, and more. ARCHICAD offers a wide range of predefined stair types, including straight, spiral, and custom-shaped stairs, allowing architects to choose or design stairs that best fit the project's requirements. Our objectives for this session are Understand the purpose and functionality of the stair and ramp tools in ARCHICAD. Customize the stair dimensions, materials, and railing options. Explore advanced settings for stairs including tread depth, riser height, and landing options. In ARCHICAD, there are various types of stairs you can create, each catering to different design needs and architectural styles. Here are some common types of stairs you can design using ARCHICAD. Single Flight A simple, linear staircase without any turns or landings. Helical Curved Stairs A spiral stair that forms a helix shape without a central column, often used for a more modern and elegant look. with landings. A straight stair design that includes landings between flights, allowing for changes in direction or breaks in the accent. that makes a 180 degree turn at the landing, forming a U-shape. Quarter turn, a staircase that makes a 90 degree turn at a landing forming an L shape.
the toolbox on the left side of the screen and click on the Stair tool. In the Info box, you can choose from a variety of predefined stair types. Select the one that best fits your design needs. Click on the floor plan where you want the stairs to start. You can click again to define the end point or draw the entire path if needed. After placing the stair, you can edit its properties by selecting it and opening the Stair Setting dialog. Here, you can adjust dimensions, materials, and other parameters. Next, we will focus on creating a ramp using the ramp object in ARCHICAD. Open the object tool. Start by selecting the object tool from the toolbox on the left side of your screen. Access the ramp object in the library. Search for the ramp object. You can find it under object settings by clicking on the folder icon and navigating to the appropriate library folder. Alternatively, you can use the search function to find it quickly. Place the ramp. Click on the floor plan where you want to place the ramp. You'll see a preview of the ramp object. Click again to set its position. Open ramp settings. After placing the ramp, select it and open the object setting dialog to customize its properties. You can do this by double clicking the ramp object or right clicking on it and selecting the object selection settings. Customize ramp properties. Dimensions. Adjust the length, width, and height of the ramp to fit your design needs. Slope. Set the slope of the ramp by adjusting the start and end heights. This is crucial for ensuring accessibility and compliance with building codes. Surface materials. Choose appropriate materials for the ramp surface to match the design aesthetics of your project. Railings. Add railings if necessary by customizing the railing options within the ramp settings. Position and orientation. Use the rotation and placement tools to accurately position and orient the ramp within your floor plan. to the 3D view to see the ramp in context with the rest of your design. Make any necessary adjustments to ensure it integrates well with other building elements. Next, 
Next, we will focus on creating a ramp with railings in ARCHICAD. ARCHICAD doesn't have a dedicated ramp tool. Instead, we will use an alternative method to create a ramp. In the toolbox on the left screen, select the Mesh tool. Create the shape of your ramp according to your dimensions. On the plan, make sure to unselect the cover fills. To do this, go to the upper side of your toolbox and select on the drop-down Floor Plan and Selection. Then, select Cover Fills. Switch to the 3D view to see the flat surface of your ramp. Select a node on the ramp and the pet palette will automatically appear. Choose the elevation tool from the palette and move the nodes to your desired height. Railings on each side of your ramp using the Railings tool on the toolbox. Make sure your elements are in the correct layers and stories. Organize your ramp within the correct layer to maintain an orderly project file. This will help in managing visibility and ensuring proper documentation. Design more complex and detailed architectural models. Don't forget to save your work frequently and explore additional features to further enhance your designs. Thank you for watching.